Hey guys, welcome to Blonity and to my new Bitcoin miner comparison. First, my little disclaimer is no financial advice, my own opinion and estimates. My estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers. Be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in all of these seven companies. So maybe I'm a little bit too bullish in my predictions here. Let's jump right into it. Uh, first, the operational excellence. Um, we have here the OPEX 10, OPEX 30, and OPEX 90. So this is the 10 day gross mining margin moving average here for Hive blockchain. And we're close to 150,000 US dollars per day in gross mining margin here. So very nice increase here. OPEX 30 is looking also good with 125,000 US dollars and OPEX 90 is close to the 100,000 US dollar mark here. Then we have have had eight big surprise here. Um, yeah, the OPEX 90 is slightly positive right now. Last week it was still negative. OPEX 30, very positive here with 40,000 US dollars. And OPEX 10 looking very good with their old equipment. They can make a lot of money right now. So that's, that's very nice here with 75,000 US dollars. Then we have bid farms, more than 100,000 in the short term in the OPEX 10. Uh, looking good. Argo blockchain, like 80,000 US dollar in the OPEX 10 here. Um, Mara still low, but uh, yeah, the, the equipment, first uh, batch of the equipment should arrive soon in the end of December or in January. We will see. So, and then we have Bit Digital here. They have a huge growth right now here in the OPEX 10, OPEX 30, and OPEX 90. So we're at 150,000 US dollars in operating profits here right now. So that's very nice. And then we have Riot blockchain with 75,000 US dollars, OPEX 10, OPEX 30, and yeah, OPEX 90 here close to 50,000 US dollars. Yeah, Bit Digital, very interesting. Um, they will have an expansion uh, at the end of this month. Maybe it's going to be January. We, we don't know. But um, yeah, they will increase the hash rate from 1.25 exahash to 2.25 exahash. So they will uh, double their operational excellence here. So that's going to be very interesting in the upcoming days. Um, yeah, as I said last time, I will always uh, change a little bit the slides here and bring always something new, something interesting for you that it's not going to be boring. So this time I have the mining profitability, my forecast here until the end of June 2021. So here you can see the bit uh, Bitcoin from 1st August um, till now here. We are at right now above 20 cents per tera hash here right now. And then we have an, the, the forecast here, an increase um, till end of June to more than 40 cents per tera hash. So that's a big increase here in the mining profitability. Here, the orange one is Ethereum. We are right now here at 0 0.05. So I expect a steeper increase here in the mining profitability, but um, we're going to have a, a drop as, as somewhere next year because of e, EIP 1559. I don't know when it's implemented. In my opinion, it could be May or something like this. And then the fees will decline significantly. So then we will have a huge drop here. And then we have Ccash. It looks a little bit too high here. Maybe I have to adjust this. But uh, yeah, the price is not really picking up from Ccash right now. It's very low. So maybe there's yeah, there's a big increase uh, upcoming or so. We will see. Then I have another very interesting uh, slide for you here. This is my daily revenue forecast for these companies here from August 1st, 2020 to the end of June 2021. So we can see here the, the revenue of high fee in September was very nice with the, with the big fees. You know this story. So right now we are here. The, the highest revenue right now has been digital with that 1.25 XIS here. We can see a lot, uh, yeah, 250, 300,000 US dollars, something like this. Right now, very high, very nice. And they will have a huge increase at the end of the year uh, if everything is right. To 2.25 exahash, as I said, and then they will have a, a revenue of 450,000 US dollars. So that's very big. So they're going to be the number one for a while. And yeah, then we have here uh, the revenue of of um, Hive blockchain, which is also 
going to grow very nice. But with Ethereum, we know we have a lot of unknown things here, so a lot of uncertainties. So this is very difficult, but right now the revenue looks nice here, the growth. Then we have here Riot and Marathon, which is very low right now. But with their, with their batches of um, S19s from Bitmain, they will grow significantly. And at the end of June, they will... Uh, in my calculation, they will have the the, the highest revenue of all these miners here. So it's going to be very interesting. Here we have Bitfarms, Argo, and Hut8. Um, yeah, they disclosed right now. Yeah, all like one one or one point two exahash. So maybe they can disclose uh, some more hardware in the upcoming weeks. Then they will rise here in the uh, in the revenue forecast. The good thing here is we have an increasing mining profitability. And uh, a, a, um, increasing mining profitability here, and we have these increasing prices here, and we have this increasing hash rate here, uh, the the individual hash rate here. So uh, that's why these these uh, curves here are are rising significantly. Okay, so uh, let's go to the next slide. Uh, the BTC mine daily. We can see what are these companies mining right now. So this is also a forecast until June 2021 from the 1st December here. So we can see what they're mining right now. And then here the forecast. So with the expansion, Bit Digital is going to mine like 18 Bitcoins per day in January or 17 or so. Then it will drop because of the over global hash rate rise. Here Hive is going to be also very nice in BTC equivalents here. But then we will have a drop. And there we have Riot, Marathon. They're going to be like 15 or 16 Bitcoins end of June. So that looks very nice. Yeah, and we are, there we have the Canadian guys like Argo, uh, Bitfarms, and Hut8 here with seven or so. Yeah, we will see. So the, the first uh, big KPI for the BMX and BMXI, it's OPEX 3. So the operational um, indicator, operational excellence indicator. Right now, HUD AVE is number one, but it's dropping here a little bit because Ethereum in the last days was lagging behind Bitcoin in mining profitability. Uh, today, it, it picked up uh, and it uh, smashed the 700 US dollar K, but uh, in, it's uh, it's a moving average here, 10 day, 30 day, and 90 day. So it, it will need some time um, to get back on, on growth here. Then we have Bit Digital. And bit farms number three, we can see here hot eight is very is very fast rising here, so they try to catch up here with the other guys. Okay, let's come go to the next uh, category, the huddle excellence in BTC equivalents. So right now hot eight still number one with more than two thousand eight hundred bitcoins huddled. Then we have riot here with like nine hundred bitcoins and hive like eight hundred or so. Uh, looks very nice. Also, Argo is growing and Bit Digital. Um, also, I started to hodl a little bit for Bit Farms because I think they will also start hodling. They cannot be that. Uh, <clears throat> yes, you know what I mean. That they don't hodl. I think they will hodl a little bit. Um, it's going to be um, difficult for them because they have uh, some debt and huge capex and all this stuff. But I calculated that they can hodl a little bit right now. So we will see. Um, yeah, then we have the HODL X, which is also part of the BMX and BMXI formula. Uh, HUD 8 number one here. Last week they were at 40 million. Now they're close to 50 million. So you can see how important it is to hold Bitcoins because these Bitcoins are sitting around and they're making 10, 10 millions a week, 10 million US dollars per week. You cannot do this with operational margins or so right now. You can only do it with HODL X. So right now HUD 8 looking very strong because they have huge huddle x and they have now a nice um, operational excellence so yeah they're re really um, back on track and yeah they're growing very fast so number two is riot here with a nice hole and i have to say that um, i minus here the btc collateral so they are loan collateral so without the loan they would be at 70 million or so so that's very nice okay so let's go to the next category here then we have the Stratex 3. Um, last time I showed you the formula here. I don't want to talk today about this formula, 
but um, I think it's a very nice forward-looking indicator because the last two are the past and Stratex is strategic excellent and we are looking forward like 180 days maximum um, but with a focus on the short term on 30 and 90 days. Um, we can see here that Hive is still here number one and Stratex um, looks very strong here. Bit Digital is number two and Riot um, surpassed uh, HUD 8 since the last week here. Um, so this is from 1st December till now, so it's four weeks here. I have surpassed HUD 8 um, here a little bit in the Stratex because Riot has disclosed a lot of hardware. They're number one in disclosed hardware with 3.8 exa uh, hash um, at the four, qu fourth quarter of 2021. So HUD 8, uh, yeah, maybe they should order some hardware again. We will see. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go to the BMX, the Blonity's Minus Excellence, um, the app in absolute terms here. So the number one here, yeah, again, it's no financial advice here. Please be aware of that. Number three is Bit Digital. They surpassed right blockchain yeah, because of their huge operational margin here right now and of their big growth in the upcoming days. Yeah, they're 100% or not 100%, but 95% a Chinese company right now. They have their facilities in China and all this stuff. So please be aware of that. The numbers are looking very good, but there are also risks Risks with this company I told in the last videos. So, but um, from the operational and uh, the BMX side, it looks very, very strong. Then the number two, we have HUD 8 here um, with the yeah, nice operational skills right now. Huge HODL X, nice Stratex, very good. And right now, there's uh, Hive still on number one because Ethereum is still very profitable right now. Okay, and let's move on to the BMXI. Um, we can see here um, Argo is not as far away as it was the last week. So the other guys, they're coming closer and closer right now. You also no financial advice. But Argo, uh, but the digital right now is number three. They are rising here significantly because their market cap drop because investors are not so, yeah, feel not so comfortable right now with this stock. And the market cap dropped and the operational margins they are rising right now. So that's very good for, for, um, it, lo it looks very attractive right now, bit digital for to buy, let's say. Then we have, um, HUD 8 here, um, the market cap gr will grow. Um, but uh, also the, the the numbers from HODL X are growing big and the operational excellence is a lot better. And then we have Argo. This is still number one here. Um, they dropped a little bit. Um, we can see it here. It's the moving BMX I here from the last 23 days. So Argo was at 140 here, 1 1.4 in this BMX I. Now they're at 0 0.7 and the others come closer now. And I can tell you why. Um, it's traded right now on uh, the NASDAQ OTC with the ticker ARPKF. And in the US, it has a lot, uh, the, the stock price is higher than in, in London and the London Stock Exchange. And I choose the, the US price uh, of like 33 US dollar cents per, per share uh, because I think uh, soon the US will. Uh, will be number one in price and yeah, they will lead and they will, uh, yeah, and L London Stock Exchange will follow, I guess. So yeah, th that's that's why it's, it's if I would ch uh, choose the London Stock Exchange price, Argo would be higher here in the BMX right now, but it's gonna be boring when they're always so far away. So yeah, we will see um, how this develops. They're still number one, then HUD 8 here, we can see it's rising because of their operational excellence, which is now better. The mining profitability, and then we have Bit Digital um, here in uh, in number three in the position here. Uh, we can also check the market cap here. Hive had a dump in the market cap. Uh, they were at 900 million US dollars or so, now at 577. So they are looking cheaper right now. Then we have HUD8 with 245 million, Bit Farms 140 million. Argo blockchain 95 million US dollars, uh, Mara close to 700 million, Bit Digital looks very cheap right now with 250 million US dollars, 
they have the most uh, disclosed peta uh, they have the most um, peta hash right now running and they will have an expansion in the upcoming days so they're looking very cheap right now and we have riot uh, with 885 million US dollars so they're still number one here in the market cap so uh, let's move on to the midterm stock price potential my midterm stock price potential so this is a moving forecast Two weeks ago or so, I made my maximum forecast for 2021. At the end of 2021, which yeah, we I, where I can see 100x for some stocks. But this forecast here is like yeah, let's say three to six months, and it's moving always. And I will show you the last week and today. So in the last week, we had um, yeah, for high of eight, for uh, hot for hot eight, we had 24 US dollars and so on. So here we can see the new forecast. Forecast uh, it's rising for all a little bit. So Hive is still eight, but had eight. It's twenty-seven uh, US dollars right now in the midterm. Bit farms from six to eight. Argo from four to four, but a little bit a higher four than before. Then we have Mara from fifteen to seventeen. We have Bit Digital from forty-five to fifty-three US dollars, and Riot from thirty to thirty-three US dollars. So that's the stock price, and yeah, let's go to the leverage right now. Um, again, no financial advice here. Uh, make your own decisions. Um, here in the PE ratio 25, uh, we can see that we have in, in some stocks we have a rise and some we have a drop. For example, for Hive, I had a 3.9 leverage. Um, so the X, uh, which I can see rise in the next uh, month, three to six months. So from three to nine to 4.9. So Hive looks a little bit more attractive right now because the market cap was dropping. Uh, had eight from 11.9 to 10.7. Yeah, because they had a, a huge market cap growth in the last week. So that's why the leverage is down. Um, same with bid farms from 5.5 to 4.7. Here Argo from 21 to, to 13. So it's also declining. Yeah, because of the market cap increase with the US price right now, I think uh, yeah that's okay. From Mara to from 1.6 to 1.6, no change here. Bit Digital 8.2 leverage to 9.2, so there's an increase here. So Bit Digital, as I said, um, from this data here looks very attractive. And in Riot we have a little um, decrease here from 2.9 to 2.5 uh, leverage. Okay, so that's about leverage. And yeah, please remember guys, um, all models are wrong, but some are useful. So please be aware of that. Okay, what's upcoming? Mm, last week we had a huge volatility in these mining stocks. For example, Bit Farms, they, they rose, rose from uh, $1 Canadian dollar to 3.7 Canadian dollars or so, one day with 66%. And then they dropped big time to below two Canadian dollars again. So I sold at 140, at 240, and at 334 or so, I sold a little bit, but um, yeah, after that I was thinking mm, maybe the, the it was wrong to sell, and yeah, in, I moved to Argo, so I'm okay with this, but it was not very strategical or something like this. So I'm thinking about a, of a development of a formula for trading with BMXI. It would be nice to have the BMXI on an hourly base, not only on, on daily, but we will see. But um, I'm thinking about um, a formula which I tell me, which tells me when do I sell, which amount, and which price, all all based on BMXI. So um, check w w which um, stock right now is undervalued. This is one what I want to buy. The overvalued I want to sell, and the amount um, in it depends on the volatility and on the price increase and all this stuff. So um, this will take some time here, but um, yeah, I will tell you uh, with the the improvements here and i will tell you when i have this uh this trading formula uh for my bmx i gonna be very nice i guess okay uh guys remember it's gonna be a rough ride it's gonna be very difficult i think on on monday uh, the london stock exchange and the canadian exchanges are closed i think us is open on monday so tomorrow um, I think we could see crazy jumps on, on Monday. These stocks like, for example, ARPKF. I, I read uh, some chats there. A lot of people want to buy right now. A lot of people had bought uh, last week. So they are nice, but uh, the people they want to buy. So set your limit, make a strategy and don't get too emotional. Um, yeah, maybe you should wait a little bit or so. Maybe there's a, f a big pump in the beginning and it then it drops again or so. 
Um, but I think uh, overall it will rise significantly all these stocks next week because Bitcoin is rising right now. And so, yeah, don't get too emotional. Set your limit. Uh, what do you want to pay? And don't pay everything for these stocks uh, in the short term. And yeah, that's what I want to say to you uh, in this topic. And we will always have, again, these big drops. Like last week, we had these uh, in bid farms and had eight, these crazy gains, and then these huge drops. Yeah, this is this is mining. These are mining stocks. This is, this is uh, nothing special, like 50% drops in one day or so. This can happen. And I'm always, not I'm always happy about them, but I try to, to buy more stocks when the price is down. Sometimes I have cash, sometimes not. And that's why I will develop my formula here to, to be better in this uh, cash uh, stock management here to, uh, to, to do the, the right things here. So, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your comments and all this stuff. I really appreciate it. It's very nice to get this great feedback. Um, it makes a lot of fun with you. And I think we're growing very fast. Um, some mining companies, they got attention, attention of us here. And I think, um, yeah, we're going to have some, some power here in the future. So that's very nice. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.